IP rating is an ingress protection that basically will cover two situations. The first one is solid and the second one is related to water. So let's understand what these numbers mean on this uh, classification. So the first number over here is related to solids and the second one is related to water. The first one, zero. So this means that we don't have any protection on solids, so dust and etc. Just recall this IP classification is not uh, created only for cameras are related to any other object that can be tested. So some, some classifications here will not make sense for cameras, but it's good to understand what means uh, on all the digits. So the first one, zero, so means don't have any protection against solids or dust. Second one, it will protect uh, objects larger than five centimeters. So this means like a, like a hand and it's basically five centimeters is this size. So very big objects, number one. Second one here, it will protect so it's greater than 1.2 centimeters. So this will give us uh, a little bit like um, a, a finger, something like that, but still very big objects. Third one, it will be objects higher than 0.25 centimeters. So then start to get smaller, like now part of the screwdriver, it's a very uh, thin part, but it's still big open. Fourth one, uh, our objects are bigger than 0.1 centimeters. So this can be like a, a thin wire or something. So it's very um, thin, but it's still comparing to dust, still big. And now after the fourth, two, talk about the number five is dust proof so what this means a small amount of dust can enter in the camera but it can still can work so it's not completely sealed against dust but it will still work and it will allow a little bit of dust inside of the closure the last one here is dust type. So this is the higher uh, protection level. So this means that we are not expecting any dust inside of the of the device of the game. Moving to water. So zero means that no protection, so like solid. First one is a protection that will cover a few drops of water when the camera is totally aligned horizontally, so the camera is static horizontally and it allows a few drops of water on top of the of the camera. So this will be the protection uh, class one. The class two is spray or a few drops of a camera tilt up to 15 degrees. So comparing to the horizontal axis. So the camera tilt um, 15 degrees, it will be able to receive a few drops or a spray of water.
The third one, the number three, is the camera receiving sprays or drops tilt up 60 degrees comparing to the horizontal axis. So that means like a higher angle of ingress. And the number four is spray or splash any part of the camera. So in any angle, a little bit of drops or, or, or splash or spray of water, uh, but it might enter a uh, few uh, moisture or a uh, little bit of water inside the, the structure. So number five, we're talking about We are talking about a weak jet of water in the camera in any direction. It is still possible to enter insignificant moisture in the camera, but it will be able to handle uh, a weak jet of water. The number six, the camera will handle a strong jet of water. So you could expect very small portion entering the structure, but it's very, very small, but it will keep working, considering a strong jet. The number seven, we are talking about the camera being protected underwater. So submerging for 30 minutes. in a depth of one meter. And number eight, it will be the camera supporting more than one meter of depth. In 30 minutes. Okay, so that's how we we define the numbers, and then when you see the combination in the IP classification, you are now able to understand how resistance is related to solid or dust, and how resistance is related to water. Okay, so. How this IP classification, the ingress protection rating can be related to NEMA. So NEMA is a, a United States standard of the National Electrical Manufacturers Association. We have a table that we have the most common IP uh, classifications and equivalent in the NEMA rating. First one, number one in the NEMA IP to zero, the NEMA two IP twenty two, NEMA twelve IP fifty four. Four IP fifty-six. Sorry, IP sixty-five. Four X IP six six six. IP six seven and six P, which is the highest IP six eight. 
know the most common classification for cameras that you see that is outdoor cameras is IP66 and 4X. One thing that I forgot about IP is the classification that we have for cameras. So Cameras with these numbers of solid and water protection are considered the outdoor cameras. And cameras classified on this top area are classified as indoor cameras. So this is easier to, it's like an overview, over, um, overview if the camera is outdoor or indoor and here you get the details how it will be able to handle the environment um, condition basically okay, so when we say camera uh, an outdoor camera ip66 we're talking about an outdoor camera that is in this segment that it will be dust type and uh, resistant to a strong jet